right, folks, all suited up. It's time to give the Bad Axe Bees their new home. As I said before, I'm going to be spraying them down with a little bit of sugar water. They've been in here for a few days since the weather's not been conducive. Um, but I think they're ready to meet their happy little home. Keep her handy little bee brush by her side. And I will confess, it's my first time actually hiving my own bees, so who knows what could happen here. These get really fun. Oh, I look at those beauties. Look at those beauties. Crap sprayer, I'll tell you that much. Can't find a good sprayer anymore. Okay. And we're not going to smoke them today. These guys are pretty calm and I'm thinking they're not going to need it. So that could be a mistake. Who knows? We'll find out. And here I am without my handy little hive tool. So we're going to have to wing this, hopefully they're not too glued. we start on the outside because the queen's not usually on the outside. And there they are, now they're waking up. And that's why you wear a suit folks. One little slip takes to piss them off. Check this one good for the queen. Yeah, they're not happy right now. Understandable, guys, girls. Huh? They got some brood going. A little bit of honey in there. Propolis. Keeping an eye out for the queen to crawl out too, because we really don't want to lose her. We don't necessarily have to see her right now, but we don't want to lose her. At first glance, I don't see her. Not a whole lot of guys left in there. So we're just going to take them. Go like that. That'll piss them off real good. Let's put this over here for now. And get them off the edges so we don't squish them. Put. I don't have a queen excluder with me. I'm going to have to run back and grab one and put it in there. And that's the small little cage that keeps her in there. Well, I should say it's a, it's a finer mesh so they keep, she can't get out. She's too big. And that's it, folks. Let the rest of them find their way into the hive. Okay, as promised, I came back with the queen excluder. Um, it's important to know what this is, see? The gaps in here are too narrow for the queen to get through. So this is going to help keep her in the hive. Later on, we're going to add other boxes, other deeps, to give them more room to work. But we're going to want the queen to stay away from that area so that she's not just continuing to produce more, more babies and allowing the other guys to do their work. So this is what keeps the queen in place. So we're gonna pop her open. Oh, 
copper top board, which is actually upside down. We'll fix that. Hey, look at that. These guys are already getting along quite nicely. Let's make sure our queen's not on there, though. Nope. No queen. So what I'm going to do is just take my nice brush here, gently brush them into the hive, and off the board. Yeah, fix them off a little bit. They'll be happy bees pretty soon. Again, we want to look for a queen, make sure we're not going to crush her. She's everything, man. We lose her. It's a big setback. Just like that. Hot board. And then what I like to do at this point, with a little preventative maintenance, cinnamon. This helps keep the ants away. It's not foolproof, but it does help. Ants are going to be a problem, I guarantee it. Hi, babies. Okay, and then we just put our lid on. And then just for a little piece of mine. Oops. I almost smashed you with a brick, little guy. Little girl. Yeah, these guys are not aggressive. They're going to be a pretty calm and happy bunch this summer. So there it is, folks. The Bad Axe Hive is placed. Eventually I'm going to make a mouse guard, as I learned from last year. Mouse mice will get in here in the wintertime. And uh, during the summertime, the bees do a really good job of guarding themselves. The mouse tries to get in, they'll attack. So, yeah. Let's see what happens from here.